Well, I think many of those conditions of inequality and access are still very real today. Um, the very big difference that we're facing now is that this is a global crisis um, where everybody on the planet needs access to these technologies. And so this is a very welcome step forward today um, to put those commitments, those nice commitments that we've heard about global public goods, to realise those commitments in practical terms. But this is only going to work if every government steps up to the table and makes those commitments. And we're very, very welcome of the governments that have taken leadership today, but we need all governments to come to the table, along with pharmaceutical companies. And I'm, I will say that some of the reactions from some pharmaceutical um, players today about this initiative is disappointing. We really need them to properly engage with the details of this pool, step up to the table. But alongside that, I just want to set, you know, reassert this point that we are seeing millions of taxpayers' money being invested in this, in this, um, uh, in the research and development for the medical solutions for this, we do need to see those conditions attached that will force um, the pooling, force the sharing of these solutions to this pandemic. The the scale of the crisis is too big; it's too vast to leave it to the voluntary um, and philanthropic efforts of pharmaceutical companies.